The dollar and cents of personal transportation is measured in many ways. More often than not, the original price of the car is just one factor. Wise buyers have learned to figure their annual operating budget. They carefully watch for fuel improvement or miles per gallon. They program in the frequency of regular maintenance, tune-ups and oil changes. And they evaluate stability of performance when making their buying decision. Because GM is well aware of these considerations, they have spent millions of man-hours improving their automobiles and developing a maximum mileage system with lower operating costs as the constant goal. Many of the improvements in the 1975 model year are related to performance, fuel economy, maintenance, and yes, the environment. One of the most significant advantages of the new fuel-saving system is the addition of the catalytic converter developed by GM. What is it? The catalytic converter is, in simple terms, a container filled with pellets. The pellets are coated with a small amount of platinum and palladium, and they are the catalysts that bring about the change. The exhaust fumes flow through and around the surfaces of the catalyst to oxidize the carbon monoxide and hydrocarbons. The action converts the hydrocarbons and carbon monoxide to harmless fumes, which move out of a new exhaust system, giving the cleanest emission ever. With the use of this catalytic canister, we are meeting the stringent government clean air standards. And the engines can now be tuned to run as they did before we first added emission controls. All 1975 GM vehicles equipped with catalytic converters must use unleaded gas. The use of unleaded gas provides many advantages. It will lengthen the life of your spark plugs to 22,500 miles. It stretches the time between tune-ups and allows for oil changes even up to 7,500 miles. A special nozzle is designed to prevent accidental filling of your tank with leaded gas. As shown, a regular nozzle will not fit. But the converter will tolerate a single tank full of leaded gas before there's any significant reduction in converter efficiency. If it ever became necessary to restore the converter to its original working order, we need only to replace the pellets in the canister. The catalytic converter is matched with a high energy ignition system. The high energy ignition system, or HEI, is a greatly simplified complete ignition system, all in a factory assembled pre-tested unit. The HEI system contains single wire leads to the ignition switch and the spark plugs. Its unitized solid state technology eliminates points and condenser. Therefore, no replacement is necessary. And once tuned, it stays tuned longer, providing 35,000 volts, outperforming all standard systems of 25,000 volts. It means positive cold weather starting performance. The HEI provides all weather protection from moisture, dirt, and road splash. All in all, increased reliability. This new system combining the HEI, the catalytic converter, and using unleaded gas means you should need only a simplified tune-up every 22,500 miles, as compared to 6,000 miles in past model cars. The HEI combines with a new carburetor and an improved automatic choke to more accurately control the air and fuel mix. Result, precision engineering providing new fuel economy. In the 1975 models, GM has also recalibrated the torque converter in turbohydromatic transmissions. Response is immediate and more positive. By reducing slippage, efficiency is improved and you will get better gasoline mileage. Mileage will also be gained with the GM specification steel belted radial tires. Steel belted radial tires available on all GM cars offer lower rolling resistance better traction, and longer tire wear. Each characteristic contributes to longer tire life. All things considered, you can't beat the system. Your 1975 GM car will offer reduced operating costs all year.
Gasoline savings will vary according to your load in car and your driving habits. And performance is like the good old days. With it all, you're getting the cleanest air ever. You see, we want you to like what you drive. And drive what you like.